What's up everyone, thanks for stopping in. Welcome to the Thrifty Indian video. My name is Kevin. If you're new here, we wanna help you make a full or part-time income by sharing our experiences through what's sold, how to, and tips and tricks videos. So if this is something that you're into, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification icon to let you know when we have some new content uploaded. And of course, check out some links down below, just some items we use on a daily basis to help us out selling on eBay. Now in this video, we're gonna go over five tips to boost your sales. So if you've been experiencing some slow sales recently, these five tips, uh, they're actionable tips that you can uh, go ahead and put into place right now and they will, in our experience, definitely uh, boost your sales within a few days. You'll definitely notice some sales coming in as a result of these particular tips and changes to your store. So without further ado, uh, let's jump into the tip. All right, uh, so tip number one, um, now this one isn't more of a, this is more of a best practice as opposed to a tip. Um, so you should technically be doing this already. If you're not, definitely is a reason why your uh, sales are slacking. So as a biz best business practice and tip number one, make sure you're listing consistently. So you wanna make sure that you are listing, you know, a couple items a day at minimum. I would say at least five per day at the bare minimum. I definitely wanna make sure that you have some sort of activity in your store. So if you're not, listing on a consistent basis, make sure you're going in on a daily basis, at least revising um, your existing listings. So tip number one uh, was more of a bis best business practice um, and that is list consistently. All right, uh, so that brings us to tip number two. So what we recommend for tip number two is use promoted listings. So if you're not already, you definitely wanna make sure that you are using uh, your promoted listings on your items, if not all of them, at least on some of them. You don't have to use a huge percentage. We generally use promoted listings on all of our items within our store at a minimum of about 2%. Uh, at least that way you are showing up at the top for in most cases as, as a sponsored uh, listing. Uh, so tip number two is use promoted listings. Now this brings us to tip number three. Uh, so what we suggest for tip number three is run sales. Uh, so this uh, we actually use in conjunction with uh, promoted listings. So even though we are still promoting our listings at a lower percentage, we still run a uh, sale on our items. Now we don't recommend that you do the fake sale type things that you may see on eBay where you know you mark up the price to you know $100 on a you know $20 shirt and then uh, you have this giant fake sale. What we suggest is that you do a market reasonable, um, you know, slightly above what the general retail would be and then mark it down accordingly. We generally run at least a 15 to 20% sale on items and they are priced accordingly. So we are still having a profit uh, when we do run the sale at 15 or 20% and also factoring in the uh, 2% uh, promoted listing as well. So tip number three, uh, run sales on your items. Okay, so tip number four. Uh, when it comes to tip number four, what we suggest for this is a store refresh. Now, to do this, um, you can do it in using the bulk editor. So you wanna go to all your listings. We generally do um, usually 200 at a time. So you wanna go to your uh, all of your listings. Then what we do is we go ahead and we sort uh, to the ones that are ending soonest. And then what we do is we'll select them all and then we will choose end item. Uh, so this will remove the item from eBay completely and then put it into your um, ended uh, item section. And then from here, you wanna go into the item section and then select them all again and then choose sell similar. So you essentially you're doing a delist and a relist at sell similar. So this will, bring, this will give your items a new item ID when it comes to eBay. Therefore, thinking, uh, making eBay think you have 200 or whatever number you select uh, new items in your store. Uh, so tip number four is a store refresh. And if you're not 100% on what that is, we have done a video in the past, uh, but I, as I'm going through it here, I'm sure I'll put something up here that uh, walks you through the steps of doing that uh, store refresh. All right, uh, so last but not least, tip number five. Uh, so when it comes to tip number five, um, now this, really only works if you have uh, multi-quantity items and if you have some sort of sales history on those items as well. So basically what you're gonna do, let's say you have 20 of one particular item, you're gonna go ahead and reduce that down to one. So what that does is it creates a scarcity. Uh, so, and it really, it really helps of course too if you have some watchers on that item as well. Um, so what it does is it creates scarcity. So people who are watching, they'll get that notification indicating that there's only one left. And in most cases, uh, again, this is all dependent on the item, how many watchers 
and what the item is if it's something that is you know something that is needed at the moment this will usually generate sales fairly quickly so you're basically care, uh, creating that false scarcity making people think oh there's only one left so they want to make sure they get that before it goes away so tip number five is uh, on multi-quantity listings is reducing it from your large amount down to a single quantity available so that's it just five quick tips on uh, how to boost your sales uh, within the uh, beginning few months here of 2021 if you do enjoy this content don't forget hit that subscribe button and the notification icon to let you know we have some new content uploaded it's also greatly appreciated if you give us a thumbs up and check out some links down below just some items we use on a daily basis to help us out selling on ebay if you found this video helpful i'm sure you'll find these ones helpful as well make sure you check that out other than that uh right here we're done have a good one. Take care.